There's something different about Ross County. In fact, there's quite a few things different as the Highland Outfit prepare for their second season in Scotland's top league. It's a real statement of intent that Ross County have made significant changes to the stadium here for the season ahead. They've added 600 new seats. They've also laid an entirely new pitch and they've added eight new players to the squad. This is a club that wants to be taken seriously in its second season in the top flight. Well, still no word here yet in Inverness as to whether manager Terry Butcher will accept the vacant manager's role at Barnsley. We know that he met with the club in England yesterday for a couple of hours before resuming talks with them once again this morning. Butcher is very much Barnsley's main target and they're confident, we understand, that talks went well. Butcher though arrived back in Inverness this afternoon and as we find out he was unwilling to comment at all on the situation. No, sorry Heather, I'm not saying a word. So no comment at all then from Terry Butcher. We do know that he is now having talks with the chairman at Inverness, Kenny Cameron, before making a decision on which move he will make. Well, I spoke to the former Inverness legend, Barry Wilson, and asked him his viewpoint on how Inverness fans will react to the potential of Mr Terry Butcher moving on. The coin of football for his gutted, you know. Uh, he's obviously done a done a great job. Uh, the fans meeting tomorrow night though should give them a clearer idea of what the Hearts Foundation is all about, who will be making the bid and exactly what that will entail. In the meantime though it's a watch and see as Hearts teeter on the brink. So why are the club in such a financial mess? Well the answer is simple. They are mired in debt to the tune of £25 million. For many footballers, the day after a Champions League victory would mean a well-earned day off. For Glasgow City, though, less than 24 hours after making it through to the last 16, it's back to work as usual. I think it's just keeping it going, and because he's uh, being a male swimmer, he's just going to get so much more strength, whereas I've had to work really, really hard. It's a match that promises to be a tantalising encounter, a derby final which has never been played before. I moved to absolutely my Dillon part of the, the countryside and had half a meg um, broadband. So what we, we look, I, I looked into lots and lots of different options, um, but the, 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 the best option was, was a community fibre partnership with, with Openreach. So our 14 houses in our community um, clubbed together and paid open reach to bring um, fibre to the premises. So it's not it's not copper it's, uh, fibre as, as what most people have, it's actually pure fibre into everyone's house. So Andrew, you've got lots of uh, devices here, what are they? So we, we use, um, mainly use a kit called, from a company called Ubiquity um, and these are the kind of client, um, client receivers, these are the kind of dishes that you put on your house to, to receive the signal. I don't know if you want to follow me. Um, Can take a shot of the, the apex of the house. That's that's the other end of our equipment um, tran transmitting the signal. 